If you're someone who reliably feels that you excel at what you do, you're a good person, everybody likes you, and you regularly are fully engaged and happily in the present moment, then this webinar is not for you. This webinar is for the rest of us who sometimes feel confident, perhaps even proud, who often feel we're loved, but other times hit bumps in the road in which we start to feel inadequate, we start to feel insecure, and we start to feel that we're not living up to some inner or outer standard. And whether this happens to you personally in your role as a therapist, or you simply see it happening in so many of your clients who are struggling with feelings of inadequacy or not being good enough, this webinar will offer some concrete tools to begin to step off of this self-evaluative roller coaster. Because as it turns out, there are alternatives to self-evaluation, like safe social connection, being in the moment, and really taking a look at how we establish these evaluative structures that can provide us some very real freedom and can allow us to begin to taste the extraordinary gift of being ordinary and being connected to other human beings and the larger world around us. I hope you'll be able to join me. I'm super excited about this webinar because I just finished a book on the topic. And the book, to tell you the truth, was a self-treatment project. Because there I was in my 60s, having spent some 40 years as a psychotherapist and deeply involved in contemplative practices, all of which you would imagine would have led me to have a secure sense of self, a coherent sense of self, and to free me from the various insecurities that can plague a human being about being good enough, being loved or liked enough, and those kinds of things. But the reality was, I was still going up and down. As a good friend of mine once said, my sense of myself as a psychologist was only about as good as my last session. If it had gone well, I'd think, yeah, I'm great at this. If it had gone poorly, I'd think, you know, this clearly isn't my calling. I should have been an engineer or something like that. And that led me to really want to investigate, what is this all about? How can it be that after decades of practice, a human being is still stuck in these preoccupations? And the investigation led me to find that there are all sorts of reasons why this happens. It's actually hardwired for us, but there are also reliable pathways out. And this webinar will help to show you what some of them are. I hope you'll be able to join me. While this webinar can help all of us personally, as therapists, to be more engaged in our work, happier as human beings, and less preoccupied with self-evaluation, it can offer concrete tools to help clients who are involved in all sorts of suffering. Like the surgeon who was getting on in his years and started feeling inadequate whenever he was at the conferences where the younger guys were starting to take positions of power and he and his peers were starting to lose positions of power and starting to feel inadequate and afraid of being replaced and, face and fading away. Or the businesswoman who having actually established and sold a business for $30 million started to feel bereft and out of sorts because she didn't really have a sense of meaning in her life and kept fantasizing, if only I could establish a $50 million business, then I'd be happy. Or the secretary working in an academic department who always felt inadequate because she felt like the professors didn't really treat her as a real human being because she wasn't an academic. So many of the people that we work with suffer deeply uh, with these feelings of inadequacy, not good enough, or being looked down upon. And this webinar will provide concrete practical tools that they can use to reorient themselves in the world, to reconsider who they are and how we establish a sense of self. So instead of being so preoccupied with these evaluations, they can safely and lovingly connect with other people, engage more fully in the present moment, and discover the extraordinary gift of being ordinary. I hope you'll be able to join me.